When you enter the MBS IMP website, you'll be taken to the home screen seen here. There are two areas on the home screen that are common throughout the site. The links at the top right of the screen provide access to one's personal profile, relevant research, and, if applicable, group admin functions. The links at the bottom of the screen provide access to help and support, user operation questions, administrator contact, terms of use, the privacy policy, and HIPAA compliance guidelines. To the right of the screen, there are two additional links that provide access to training and reference documents and a video information menu to assist with navigating the website. The training and reference documents section contains necessary documents that are integral to the MBS IMP training. Each is also printable. These include the component scores definition list, the MBS IMP guide and protocol, a website navigation and operation manual, a BOLA specific scoring grid, quick reference of the qualifiers used in online study input, a guide to the report writing section, component help files, and research studies of interest. Returning to the home screen, you'll see that the MBS IMP website is made up of four distinct areas of focus that vary depending on MBS IMP clinician status. These areas include the learning zone, the training zone, the reliability zone, and the patient data and report section. Access to each zone is granted upon successful completion of the zone that precedes it. The learning zone introduces and explains the MBS IMP's 17 physiologic components and the scores associated with each that together comprise the assessment tool. The training zone provides the means to develop skills and scoring each of the 17 physiologic components and gain practice applying these skills on MBS IMP protocol studies. The reliability zone is an assessment of one's ability to successfully use the MBS IMP scoring scheme to capture physiologic impairment. Upon successful completion of the reliability zone, the designation of registered MBS IMP clinician is earned and immediate access to the MBS IMP interface for patient management and report generation is granted. Now, let's take a look at each of the four areas of focus in greater detail. All new users will begin at the learning zone. Organized by the three physiologic domains, the 17 components are categorized under either the oral, pharyngeal, or esophageal domain. The scores for each component are explained and demonstrated using representative segments of video fluoroscopy paired with detailed and synchronized animation. These example pairs can be viewed, reviewed, and studied repeatedly. Throughout the learning zone, audio provides additional information about the specific score being demonstrated. The audio controls are located here and allow you to mute, pause, and replay the audio segment. The learning zone is designed with two media windows that, by default, function independently. The fluoroscopy example is in the left window, the animation in the right. Each window has a set of identical controls. Choose the score to study by clicking here. Then, manage each window by using the pause play toggle, the slider, to advance or reverse the video or move frame by frame with the step function here. Alternately, the keyboard can be used. The spacebar is the pause play toggle and the left and right arrow keys are used for frame by frame viewing. Click here for full screen mode and press the escape button to return to normal view. The independent control of the media windows allows two different scores to be viewed and compared using either the fluoroscopy example or the animation. Select the scores to be compared and place one in the left window and one in the right. The fluoroscopy video and animation can be substituted for one another in either or both windows by clicking here, 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 and here. Notice the padlock icon here. It appears unlocked, indicating that the unlocked mode is active. The unlocked mode is necessary for comparing two different scores. However, 
The fluoros segment and the animation for each score of any component can be fully synchronized, enhancing the clarity of the physiology being demonstrated. First, make sure the intended fluoro and animation segments are in the desired window, and each represents the same score. Clicking the lock icon will synchronize the two. While synchronized, the learning zone can still be navigated, moving among the components, and selecting scores as desired. At any time, clicking the locked icon, now on the right side of the screen, returns to the unlocked mode. Every score for each of the 17 components must be viewed at least once before access is granted to the training zone. Progress can be viewed here at any time. Now let's take a look at the training zone. The training zone is divided into two sections. The second is locked until the first is completed. In the first section, each component is scored on 20 individual swallows taken from MBS IMP protocol studies. This promotes developing a familiarity with the components and scores that is the foundation for reliable profiling of impairment over the course of a full MBS IMP study. When each component of each of the individual 20 swallows has been scored at least once, the second section containing the full protocol MBS IMP studies is unlocked. Using the complete MBS IMP protocol, Integrity of the swallowing physiology is observed over the course of the administration of 12 boluses that vary in volume, consistency, and repetition. When scoring a full study, rather than scoring a set of the 17 components for every swallow within the study, each component is scored in terms of an overall impression that is developed from observation of component physiology over the course of all boluses administered during the study. In the end, there will still be only 17 scores. Overall impression scoring tips can be quickly accessed by clicking here. Navigation of the training zone's two sections is essentially the same. When ready, clicking on any number above the media window will take you to that specific swallow or study. The order of working with these is not mandated, nor does each have to be fully scored before moving to another. Should you need to step away before a swallow or study is fully scored, the scores for the components that have been scored are retained and available upon return. Although only a single window, operation of this player is the same as the players in the learning zone. Next to the media window, there are two panels. On the left, the components are listed. On the right, a score will be chosen. The area below the scoring panel displays the bolus consistency for each individual swallow being observed in the single swallow section. When working with the full studies, passing the mouse over the same panel brings up a screen providing a brief medical history and indication of any deviation from the MBS IMP protocol if it exists. When ready to score a component, choose the component in the left panel and scores will populate in the right. To score, click the score of choice and submit. Feedback is immediate and states the success of a choice. If the score selected was incorrect, the system provides the correct score and the option to view the score's associated animation. If additional support is needed, it is easy to access the component help files by clicking here. The component help files provide additional information about each component and its scores. Over the course of the training zone, scored components and the success of each are maintained and marked using a system of green checks and red X's. Any and all of the single swallows and full protocol studies can be scored repeatedly, providing the opportunity for ample review, study, and practice before moving on to the reliability zone. Each must be scored at least once, however, before the next section or zone is unlocked. Once all of the single swallows and full protocol studies are scored, access is granted to the reliability zone. The reliability zone assesses the learner's ability to successfully capture impairment using the MBS IMP. Ten randomly selected studies are presented to be scored in terms of overall impression. Successful completion is determined by achieving the reliability criterion, which is a percentage agreement of the combined scores submitted with the system's predetermined scores for the same studies. For the most part, 
Working with the studies in the reliability zone is the same as in the training zone. There are a few differences, however. After selecting and submitting a component score, no immediate feedback is presented. There are no green checks or red X's marking the correctness of a submitted score. Darkened circles do, however, denote that a component has been scored. In the training zone, once a component score is chosen, it must be submitted. In the reliability zone, however, the scores are not returned to the system until the score for each component in each of the 10 studies has been submitted. At this point, when the scoring of all 10 studies is complete, a new icon appears instructing the learner to submit all scores for evaluation and determination of success. Until that icon is clicked, the studies remain available for review and the scores can be changed. This promotes moving through the assessment carefully and at one's own pace and provides the opportunity for additional study and contemplation of scores if needed. Once the icon is clicked, the scores are returned to the system in bulk and feedback is provided regarding whether or not the reliability criterion was achieved. If the criterion was not achieved, the notification reflects this and also includes the general feedback outlining the physiologic areas that would benefit from additional study and review. The reliability zone can be repeated as many times as needed for successful completion. If successful, notification of success is given. Once the designation of registered MBS IMP clinician is earned, immediate access to the MBS IMP interface for patient management and report generation is provided. Designed by speech pathologist or speech pathologist, this extension of the MBS IMP is meant to be clinically useful and practical. It allows the registered clinician to efficiently enter patient medical histories, MBS IMP study scores, patient management data, and other related information in a HIPAA compliant manner. Once entered, the clinician can quickly produce clinical documentation of each MBS IMP study, track the status of patients over time, evaluate the success of patient management and treatment strategies, and optimize patient care through practices consistent with evidence-based medicine. Entering the patient data and reports section, clinicians will see a link to access the forums, jump to technical and component score help files, query patients, add new patients, and search existing patients. All patients that have already been added to the facility database can be viewed from this screen. If a clinician chooses to view only those studies that he or she has entered, they can do so by clicking here. Before entering an MBS IMP study, a patient must be added and the medical history entered. This can be done one of several ways. For patients who are new to the database, clinicians should select Add a new patient and then Generate a new ID for the patient. For patients who have previous studies entered into the MBS IMP database, clinicians can enter the known patient ID through the Search Existing Patients link. This will bring up the patient's previously entered medical history and links to any existing studies. From here, the medical history can be edited and updated. Point and click completion for 98% of all fields make data entry efficient and quick. Entry of information is de-identified and complies with HIPAA guidelines. The length and detail of each report can be controlled by the selection of the data entered. As many or as few of the available entry fields can be completed. Diagnoses and conditions are organized according to body system and classified when entered by chronology of episode. Selection of certain diagnoses, such as head and neck cancer, elicits subscreens of additional information, including surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy as applicable. If a diagnosis is not listed, you may use the free text option to enter the diagnosis into the medical history. After input of this base medical history, sections follow for present and past surgical history, medical treatments, medications, vitamins and supplements, alternative therapies, allergies, and social history. Speech pathology diagnosis and category of diagnosis related to swallowing impairment complete the patient history screen. When you've entered all data into the medical history section, you may save the form, save the form and enter a new study, save the form and edit an old study, 
or return to the list of patients. The entry screens for each MBS IMP study provide input fields for Joint Commission mandated data, such as pain assessment, procedural timeout, and barriers to learning. Fields are also included for patient status, patient height and weight, which will automatically calculate BMI, previous or current treatment, if applicable, information related to airway status, pre-study route and nature of nutritional intake, the functional oral intake scale, any additional notes in free text format, patient self-perception rating forms, including the MDATI, DHI, and EAT-10. These will automatically calculate scores entered. If you would like to compare previous scores in your final report, you can do so by selecting initial or last reported scores here. Also included is information on patient positioning, contrast viscosities used, radiographic viewing planes, and fluoroscope settings. Upon completion of the study, the MBS IMP scores for each component can be entered. Entry of the overall impression scores for each component is relatively straightforward. If for some reason a component could not be adequately assessed, an alternate non-numeric selection is available. The penetration aspiration scale is also provided. Included in the assessment section of the final report is a table indicating up to five impaired components that significantly affected swallowing ability. When applicable, structural abnormalities can be reported. Post-study recommendations for intake status, diet grade and liquid consistency, post-study functional oral intake scale scores, and additional notes can be entered here. Delineation in successive strategies used and exercises that have been used over a course of therapy and seem to have been effective can be entered. Education provided and patient family response to education can be documented. Referrals to other disciplines and of course proposed plans of care can also be included. Summarize your findings and provide an overall assessment by free texting. Indicate a prognosis for improvement and list the patient's personal goals. Build specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely long and short-term goals by completing the MBS IMP goals section. Once the data is saved, the patient's medical history, self-perception rating forms, MBS IMP study findings, recommendations, and goals are placed in report format. Medical history is organized chronologically and displays current ICD coding. Self-perception rating forms are auto-calculated and reported in narrative form. If the system was asked to compare previous scores, these are displayed according to the selection made during data input. The overall impression narrative paragraph and score definitions table are auto-generated based on scores clicked, eliminating the need to manually type the results. Component score and scale nomenclature is provided so that those not familiar with MBS IMP scores can still interpret the report. If applicable, the score definitions table automatically includes component scores from the most recent MBS study entered into the database under the patient's MBS IMP ID. These are displayed adjacent to the current MBS IMP scores in dual score format to demonstrate progress or change over time. The penetration aspiration scale is included in narrative format and any structural abnormalities are displayed in a table. The assessment section includes the top five physiologic components that most significantly impacted swallow function in table format. Compensatory strategies and exercises and their impact on swallow function are listed, giving a clear indication for future therapeutic endeavors as they pertain to the plan of care. 
intake recommendations, suggested referrals, and therapy recommendations are listed. Long and short-term goals are auto-generated in narrative format based on selections made during data entry. Until the report is finalized, users can return to and edit the study data and past medical history. When ready for distribution, the report can be sent to a printer, virtually printed as a PDF document, or downloaded for editing or archiving. Once the report is downloaded, it can be opened as a Word document and edited further. From here, the report can be copied and pasted into most electronic medical records. All data entered during report generation not only contributes to the integrity of the study report, but to future research as it is maintained in the MBS IMP database, which functions as a data registry dedicated to the study of swallowing impairment. This brings us to the query function of the MBS IMP website. The MBS IMP database is the first and only international data registry dedicated solely to swallowing dysfunction, providing an adjunct to research that has never existed until now. Each clinician who enters information contributes to a pool of knowledge that is dynamically expanding and has the potential to answer a multitude of questions. The MBS IMP query function is designed to help answer those questions by allowing clinicians to map precise requests for information retrieval within their facility's database. The query function has a myriad of clinical uses, including, but not limited to, tracking a patient's progress over time to justify the need for continued therapy, monitoring a patient's status to determine when a PEG placement discussion with the interdisciplinary team is warranted, documenting the various types and frequencies of patients seen within a facility to justify the need for another position or greater access to radiology, and to evaluate the success of patient management and treatment strategies to improve patient care. To show you an example, let's say a clinician wants to track the progress of all patients who have a diagnosis of CVA. Specifically, she wants to determine if airway closure improves with treatment. She would first select the CVA diagnosis. Then, indicate that she would like to query patients whose laryngeal vestibular closure improved in a later study after participating in therapy. From here, the clinician can view the compensatory strategies and therapeutic endeavors that were part of the therapy plan and contributed to improved airway closure. For research, the query function can be used for longitudinal studies to monitor progress in a particular cohort of patients, to examine specific interventions and response by diagnosis, to aggregate frequency data across multiple variables, for example, age, MBS IMP scores, diagnosis, quality of life scores, to decrease data input time, to determine number of MBSs over time and ethic racial distributions, and to explore how swallowing differs across certain patient populations or subpopulations. For example, let's use the same CVA diagnosis, but this time, let's look at how swallowing impairment differs across race. The query returns a large cohort of patient data that can be exported into Excel and, if desired, imported into another database program like REDCap. These are just a few examples of clinical and research applications of the MBS IMP query function. The use of the query function to access the database has the potential to advance the understanding and treatment of swallowing impairment. With this knowledge will hopefully come improvement in the health status and quality of life 
for many people. A fully featured forum system is built into this interface. Please use it for peer support and discussion, and please provide feedback and suggestions via the forum administrator. If needed, clinical and technical questions can also be addressed to the forum administrator. This concludes the tour of the MBSIMP.com. Thank you.